Got him. Let's go check him out. Can I take the stand and slam like Bam Bam? Hey Siri, Bam Studio lights on. Hey. Actually worked. I was not expecting that. All right, for the first edition for BAM's VHS Vault, in the early 2000s, I was in this DJ crew called the Platter Pirates. There was Kiko, Sprite, Schoolie D, Intel, and then we had Squint, who's Soul Rising now, Vajra, who's Chris Carnes. Me, Kiko, and Sprite used to live close by, so we used to practice every weekend, just go to every local battle. I pretty much filmed, I don't know, all the time. I guess I've always been filming. I got all our practices, all our trips, our map quest trips to all the battles, all the out of state battles, regionals, USA finals, DMCs, ITFs. Uh, no, those are two new guitar center battles, winter music conference battles, obviously DMC battles, cool mix battles. We used to do a lot of car trips, just a lot of practicing at each other's houses or apartments or something like that. I don't know, I got all like over like, I don't know, hundreds of hours of practice tapes or just us hanging out, trips we went on, shows we did. And I got to redigitize these for some projects. So I decided to vlog them as I do them. Then I'll upload some of the full videos that are worthy of watching i just share them with everyone and just check out the old times this is like before serato before computers and everything so it's just straight like vinyl so let's get into these tapes i think we'll just start around 2002 i got it on the computer already get it cracking <laughs> see what we got Ooh, i haven't seen that in a while how long is that 90 seconds i gotta find out a different intro that's like Kiko's house. It's Vajra. Uh, this is around 2002, so they're probably practicing for the USA Finals. Hey. Hi. 
I used to use that to qualify a lot. Kiko! Oh, is this the big pun routine? Kiko messing around with uh, the EQ and he used to mess around with feedback and stuff back then. And you gotta give him the deals. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give him the deals. <laughs> I just, I'm gonna give some people just medium deals. That is when he was using uh, feedback from the wires on one and then he was putting the needle on the label on the other side to have that. And then he taps it for the bass. Like maybe I'll start it off like that. Like, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like I'll start out and be like <laughs> Kiko, oh, this is a 2002 DMC Chicago Regional. We'll just watch the first routine. I like this first routine because he used a, a DJ Tragic Hard House record. Uh, he just flips it, it's really dope. I guess we'll end it about here. On episode 2 for BAM's VHS Vault, I'll go through the DMC 2002 Chicago Regional Finals. Kiko's whole set, my whole set, Len Swan was there, Radar was judging, A-Track was judging, he did a showcase. There should be some fun footage, I'm sure we're goofing around and talking in the bag. Like I said, I got over like a hundred hours or hundreds of hours of practice footage, battle trips with Kiko and Sprite from like 2000 to 2005, 2006. I have to go through all this footage, I have to digitize them for some projects and I'll vlog as I go through them. So make sure you subscribe. Look for the videos weekly. I got daily uploads and weekly episodes. 
Thanks for watching. Hey Siri, BAM Studio Lights Off. BAM Studio Lights Off. On the first edition of turntable how-to's, I'm gonna go over cue points on vinyl records with stickers. So let's see how that's done. What I do is find the part you want, and I have it marked here. Find it right in the needle, right where the sound starts. I'm gonna go back three quarters of a turn. I'll grab my circle sticker. You slide it under the cartridge and right up to the needle. It's a really steady hand. I set it on the record first, then I slightly push it, like hover it over the grooves. And I go to the needle till I hear like one pop. Like I'll push even against the needle. And then you hear, you hear that pop? That means, to me it sounds like it went one groove forward. I know I'm right there. What I do is I'll push down, not completely, but I'll push down just a little bit on the sticker to make sure it won't move. I'll see where the sticker is at, and then I will adjust it forward or backwards by pushing it with my thumb to the exact groove, if it's not there. Sometimes you get lucky and it's right there. So let's see, I'll put the needle on, do it gently because it's still not pushed down all the way. The needle is pushed to the groove that you have it at. And it sounds like it's one forward, like we heard that one pop. So what I'll do is I'll push it, push it back a little. It's kind of like a guessing game at this point. Come on. All right, I think we got it. There, I pushed it a little farther forward. It sounds like it's there. Let's check it one more time. You'll hear the sticker push it through the grooves. right there then I'll smash down the sticker so that it's at the exact spot check it one more time should be there that's how you put a cue point on a vinyl record with stickers here I stacked four records I'm gonna stack them on top of each other I think they'll fit There's the first one. This side I got a beat. I'm gonna play an eight bar beat on this side and I'm gonna switch the records with the sticker cue point on this side. Thanks for watching webisode 1. I know this one was more DJ heavy oriented, but stick around, we got a lot of other stuff coming up. We got 4th of July, skydiving, car shows, festivals, gigs, nightclubs. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe for the weekly updates and daily uploads. Bam VHS vaults, I'll be uploading the full sets later during the week. I've made over 20, 30 mixes, CDs, and mixtapes since the early 90s. With each vlog, I will share one of my mixes. This week's mix, I'll share an old turntables mix. Link at the bottom. Any of the stuff I use in the video you guys have questions on, I put links in the video in the description. I'm using these weekly vlogs to organize my channel. I've only really used it for hosting videos. Tool around, there's a lot of cool videos in there. Thanks again for watching, and see you in a couple days for the 4th of July.